Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a video hosting platform called Vadu TV. Now, in this Vadu TV review, I'm gonna show you exactly what this tool does, how to actually use it, and by the end of this video, you should know if Vadu TV is right for you. Now, just to let you know, they are currently having a lifetime deal, so if you wanna save loads on subscription costs, make sure you use the link in the description and go ahead and check it out. So first of all, what is Vadu TV? Well, like I mentioned earlier, it is a video hosting platform. And what that allows you to do is when you actually embed your videos on your website, you can do things like control what the player looks like. You can control if there's advertising on it or not. And you can also control what's called CTAs, calls to action, which you can actually put on top of your video. So you can also get traffic into different places. Now, it's a very powerful tool, especially if you are a marketer, because you know attention is everything and you don't want things like advertising playing midway through a video, that's why having Vadu TV is such a powerful tool. So what I'm actually going to do right now is jump behind the screen and show you Vadu TV. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna start here on the Vadu TV homepage. Basically, what I wanna do here is show you some of the features in case I miss them out later. And I also wanna show you the pricing differences. So when we go down on the homepage, you'll see uh, it talks about how it's a video management platform, things like hosting videos, you can be ad-free, you can customize the playback. There's also video sharing. It gives you links that you can actually share on social media. You can embed into emails and also embed onto websites. And the good part about it too is it gives you video analytics and also the ability to have CTAs, which is call to actions, things like that, on top of your videos, which actually makes it quite a unique tool because you can either direct tra traffic quite easily, which I'll show you in a second, um, or you can also get some lead gen from there. Now, just quickly showing you the pricing, just to show you the difference between the normal price in case you miss on uh, the lifetime deal. So you'll be paying $0 for up to 10 videos. However, you're gonna be having a branded player of Vadu TV. As soon as you go to the pro plan of $15 a month, you'll have the unbranded player as well as the password protection, which I'll show you also in a little bit. And then if you wanna go further on, you can have also the custom package. Now, just to show the HLS encryption is on the custom, I'm not sure what they charge there, but if you do want the HLS encryption on the lifetime deal, you can also get it actually on tier three. But starting off, tier one, $39 one time, amazing price. You can have up to 200 videos, one project, and that's going to remove all of the branding and give you password protection as well. So this is an incredible deal if you're wanting to host your video somewhere. And then tier two of uh, is just a little bit more of everything. You can have five projects, unlimited total videos, so that might be more suited to your business. Keeping in mind, this is a lifetime deal. And then finally, uh, like I mentioned earlier, tier three gives you the HLS encryption, which makes it extremely difficult for people to actually download your videos. Very good when embedding videos into things like courses that you've created because people just can't copy them and sell them off as cheap uh, sort of replicas, if that makes sense sense and you also get the white label feature so that's basically all i wanted to show you in here once again if you want the hls encryption which is the most important thing uh, make sure you go tier three so here is the dashboard actually that's the uh, project page i'll show you the dashboard here so when you get started if you are on one uh, tier license you only get one project basically what that means is you can have one project inside of here i like to think of it as having multiple brands or multiple projects inside of a brand it might be a particular course or it might be a particular type of tree of um, different content you're creating so when you're starting off you will actually have a uh, a placeholder project here so you just want to go ahead and delete the project and then you can start getting into it now on the left here before we get into the actual videos i'll just give you a quick sort of walk around we have here the uh, manage tab this is where all your projects and videos are you can actually have the record tab as they do have a chrome extension so you can actually record videos inside of there analytics is where you'll see all your analytics domains where you can put in your custom domains uh, integrations is the, this is where you can actually have things like zapier integrate Pebbly connect as well as all the video players which is really good there's also inspirations which is quite a unique thing here which sort of shows you how videos uh, could be done which is quite nice it's uh, quite an interesting thing then there's also my plan um, which tells you a plan and support now just to let you know there is actually also a vadu tv facebook group 
which if you've watched some of my review videos before um, you'll notice that I'm a huge fan of actually having community as well as the ongoing support and just to show you there they have had 150 people in the last week join so it is a growing company they are still quite infant but they are growing very quickly and you can see there has been 309 posts in the last month and six new posts today so these guys are very active there's lots of discussion going on in here if you get stuck with here you can reach out to support but I always highly recommend asking the Facebook group there's people always willing to chat um, and you'll always learn a thing or two so that's really good so let's get stuck into it uh, first of all here is the project um, so if you click on your first project here is some different videos now you'll notice I've actually got two videos inside of here they are the exact same video but they are uploaded a little bit differently so the first one is actually uploaded directly to Varu TV so Varu TV is now hosting this video while the second one is actually an import from YouTube now there are a few reasons why I've done this and I will show you why in a second but first of all I'm going to show you how to actually upload a video in Varu TV so first of all come to the top right add video audio once you're inside your project now you've got a few different options to actually upload your videos you've got direct upload which I've done for this particular video here which is nice and easy to do you've also got import video which you have a few options you can import from YouTube Google Drive Vimeo Amazon s3 Publitio or any other type of URL that you can actually download videos from now just to show you a something interesting um, I uploaded a video to Google Drive because I believe that would be amazing having it there but what it actually does is it downloads the video from Google Drive and then hosts it on uh, the Vudu TV player so there's a 45 megabit limit so it's a very small video so it's good for testimonials things like that um, but it's not the most optimal so I highly recommend either using YouTube Vimeo Publidio um, or actually just uploading it directly because it's going to be a little bit more um, a little bit easier to use so what I'm actually going to do right now is upload a new video from YouTube so I'll go to my YouTube channel here right and what I'm gonna do is just choose the latest video that I have which is once again the I'll, I'll choose the second one actually so we don't get confused and then I will come back to the hosting dashboard paste in the URL like so and click on import now this is going to happen very quickly because it's a very fast platform as you can see it's already done and what you can do then is start customizing it so keep in mind here we are just in the project tab you've got these options here and then once you actually click on the video all of these options on the left are to do with this particular video it's a little bit confusing when I first got in so just to keep that in mind now the first thing you'll notice on the right is we have share and embed and what this is going to allow you to do is actually share this link with other people and it's what it's done is it's actually created a entire landing page hosting this video so what I'm actually going to do is click on go to page and show you what it looks like now a few things to notice there is some branding on Sopper here the Vadu player right which is um it's there we've also got the title there which has got um, an interesting sort of share symbol there but that's completely fine and then we have got our player so I'm just going to mute it and just show you um, what it does so we've got a little logo at the top left as well now you'll notice the YouTube title was still there but now it's disappeared and I can't actually click on anything like you could on YouTube it is now embedded and playing with its own player which is cool but one thing to notice when you actually pause the video all of the YouTube sort of related videos come up and the title comes up so it's still looking a lot like YouTube right so I can't actually click on any of these things because the uh, Vadu TV player is over the top so if that's completely fine with you that's nice uh, for me it's a little bit annoying I'd rather these things weren't here but YouTube's always changing the way their videos embed so it's a bit a uh, bit of a hassle but we'll move forward and I'll show you what you can actually do instead but if you go down further we can actually see how many views our videos got so since we're on this page right now we've got one view and you also notice at the bottom there is another piece of branding powered by Vadu TV now if you are on the tier 3 pricing you actually get white label so you can remove that for the other two tiers you can't actually remove it um, and even on the Pro, I don't think you can move, remove it either so just keep that in mind um, but that's basically what it looks like so let's go ahead and start editing it to see what we can actually do so first of all on the left we have the analytics tab if we click on that it's going to show us some quick overviews of 
how our video is doing. So we have video views 6, video plays 2, play rate 4.17%. And as time goes on, I've only just uploaded this. This is going to get filled with lots of data. So that's pretty cool. Next, we have the landing page. So if you remember going back to the landing page before, um, like so, this is where we can actually start editing some things. So first of all, the title, if we want to change the title, you can go ahead and change it here. So I'm going to say this is the new video title just for showing you exactly what it does. And if you wait a few seconds you'll see on the right here it has actually now changed it right and if you want to add a little description inside of here you could be like this is the description of the video right this is once again just to show you what it does um, and then you wait once again a few seconds click off it it's going to upload a description as well and it goes actually quite quite far so if you you know did quite a big description give it a few seconds you can see it goes quite wide which is quite cool next you can pick a color scheme so this is going to change your background i'm not going to play around with that too much but what you can actually do here is remove this top branding right so this one here what we can do is change that to your own one i'm just going to turn it off for the sake of this video so i don't have to um show anything from my computer but that's how you do it you just upload a logo there very easy to do next we have change landing page text color so if you did change the background color you could also change the text color it's entirely up to you uh, make public if you want to make the landing page public show views at bottom if you want to hide the views if you want it to be like a call to action page you can just turn these off uh, show share buttons you can turn it off and there is here a call to action so if i go back to this page you'll notice we've just got views and then we've got the bottom of the page there what you can actually do is put in a call to action so i can type in here something like um the call to action could be my website all right so i'll just go legitmarketingreviews.com and it's gone ahead and updated if i actually reload this page what you will notice is there will now be a button all right sign up all right so there's a call to action there so it's quite a wide description everything's inside of here it looks a little bit better once you have a logo at the top actually now that i've decided but you've got some different types of layouts that you can try so i'm going to go ahead and see what this one looks like so we'll go ahead and refresh once again it does show you here as well but i feel like it's a bit small so as you can see it's gone ahead and done that still pretty cool it's very easy considering you don't have to actually do much and then you can add in things like your javascript code and some keywords for seo i'm not sure if these i'm not sure how well these pages will actually rank but if they are very lightweight and very fast to load with this new youtube update sorry google update um, it should work really well so that's basically the landing page right it's it's pretty straightforward um it's it's not the most attractive landing page in the world, I'm not going to lie, but it is very fast to create. So if you were someone that just wanted to create a quick landing page with a video on it, maybe you're just sending a quick video to someone, this is more than enough to actually do that. So that's how you do it. Next, we can actually go to the customization, which is going to give you a few more things. Things like uh, the play button. So if you wanted to make it look like YouTube, you click on that button, it's gonna look like the YouTube. If you wanted to really make it look like YouTube, you can make it go red like so i'll make it a little bit redder actually click off it and this will change to red in its own time by the looks of it there it goes um we've also got here the uh the the watermark which is what you can actually upload so this has got the varu tv basic one you can turn it off or on if you wish um, but you can upload your logo there if you want next we have enable gif thumbnail so if you want to create your own gif you can actually use this button i haven't had much success with it to be honest um, i always like to just create my own thumbnails because it gets more attraction um, but that's entirely up to you if you want to create a gif thumbnail you can test that out yourself there's also some chapters which i haven't uh, played with as it's in beta i'm not too fond of trying beta tools uh, but you can have things like chaptering bookmarks navigation and adding closed captions finally we've got a pretty interesting um, sort of feature here which is add a password to protect your video so let's just say for example um, I'm just gonna type in YouTube let's just say I wanted this video to only play if you knew the password maybe I created a lead generation page to get people to give me their email address and return for the password what you can actually do is do this right um, add the password on top of here so if they try to go and play it once um, I've actually reloaded it it's gonna say hey what's the password so I could put in here you know the password and then sure enough they've got access to actually watch the video so that's a pretty interesting um part i actually quite like that i don't really like it with the youtube uh imported video i'll show you what looks better in a second um, but that's there 
And then we also have set up custom URL. Uh, I believe that's if you put in your own domain, something like that. And we've also got some other controls here. Uh, like the little bit naughty auto player one, which I know Google doesn't like, but it does convert, so that's there. You've also got plan loop. So that's all pretty cool. Um, what I'm gonna go to next is the marketing tab, right? So if we come to the marketing tab, this is actually a very interesting feature and I do really like this, it's very, very cool. So for this title, what it's actually gonna do is create a button that you can put on top of your, um, on top of your videos, right? So let's just say I wanted to uh, talk about Yive, so I'm saying get free bonus, um, templates let's just say it's for a landing page or something I'll just put on my website again this is my YouTube one and let's just say I put it for 10 seconds and it can go on for 50 seconds right I'm gonna put it at the top right and I'm gonna leave it as is maybe I'm gonna put white text so there's your background color there's your text color so I'm gonna go ahead click Save and what I'm gonna do is show you what this actually does because it is actually quite cool I'm not gonna lie it is a very cool thing um, just before I carry on once again remember all of these customizations are just for this one video that we've clicked on so you can change them all for all of the different videos which makes it really cool especially if you're talking about particular products or recommending people for a certain thing it's going to take them there so here's the video I'm gonna go ahead and press hey, play is... sorry about that and if we wait until the 10 second mark what you are going to notice is there's actually going to be a little pop-up ready for it bang click on that and that's going to take you directly as you can see on the bottom left to that link so you can put these little call to actions throughout your video and I believe you can actually have more than one so I'm gonna add another one yeah you can so you can actually put call to action buttons popping up in your video as many times as you want uh, throughout the entire video so perfect for things like tutorials things like um, walkthroughs things like that because you can just put in buttons throughout the video and now that I think about that it's actually an extremely extremely good function to have so that's the call to action very easy to do um, you've also got a lead capture as well uh, it's not the most attractive looking lead capture however it does work um, if you want to have a quick look um, I will update this once again and let's see what it looks like so I'll just refresh this page basically what it allows you to do is uh, co collect leads as well and on top of your video which is good once again the, the appearance of it is not the most attractive however it is functional which is the most important thing so as you can see to continue watching put in your name and email right so still very good still very good now next we've got download once you've actually created all your videos you can download them and then you've got support which is all good so that's basically Vadu TV now what I recommend you do if you are actually creating videos and you are doing the lead generation and you are doing the buttons highly recommend uploading directly to Vadu TV because it's going to look a lot cleaner so what I'm actually going to do is embed this video here so I'll get the embed link and copy this entire thing like so I'm actually going to go to this page that I've created and I'm going to put in the HTML. It's built on Elementor. I'm going to paste in this new one. And as you can see, it doesn't have any of that crazy YouTube crap all over it. And I can still do all of the customizations, customizations, all of the call to actions, all of the lead generation, but it's just in a much cleaner platform and as you did notice it plays extremely quick and this video is about 800 megabits big right so it's not a small video it is really fast on Vadu TV um, so I'm actually really pleased with this particular product so what I'm gonna do right now now that I've walked through this entire thing that was basically Vadu TV what I want to talk about is a few extra things so I'm gonna jump behind the camera real quick okay so that was Vadu TV as you can see it is a very powerful tool if you want to keep your content looking great ad free and you want to keep it safe because you can control so many of these aspects using Vadu TV now if you wanted to get started with Vadu TV once again there is a link in the description that's going to take you directly to the lifetime deal it is an amazing deal and it is a one-time price so if you want to save big on subscriptions make sure you go ahead and check that out but apart from that that was the entire Vadu TV review I hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you smash that thumbs up button so I know this content's actually getting seen and if you haven't yet make sure you smash that subscribe button I've got so many good review videos coming out soon as well as discounts bonuses and a whole bunch of other goodies okay that's it from me I'll see you on the next video